Welcome to the RTS Podcast. I'm Zion Smith. How many times did she get sick? And then in about a week or two weeks, you got better. How many times did you accidentally fell and hit the concrete? Or you fell down the stairs? And you got to know the boo-boo. In about five days, maybe a week, or two weeks if the pain is severe, <laughs> you feel better. How many times did a particular person Made you upset. You cooled off for about an hour. Maybe for some days, if you give the person the sign achievement. And then you forgive that person and you move on. How many times did you accidentally bit your tongue while you was eating your food? Yeah, the pain, it will come. But eventually it goes away. It goes away. How many times did you get rejected in life? Not only in relationships, but it can be a job opportunity, a team that you wanted to try out for. And you didn't make it. But a couple months later, or the next year, or two years, or three years later, you make it. And it ends up happening for you. How many times you may be thinking, what is the point? I'm trying to make. The point I'm trying to make is a life is only temporary, not permanent. Temporary pain, not permanent pain. Temporary time, not permanent time. A wise man once told me that life is only temporary. Before I elaborate further, I would like to pull out a disclaimer. You are viewing this RTS podcast in April. I am recording this RTS podcast on February 27th, 2023. 
why I am making this disclaimer. If you had seen me in the month of April, my hair is not that short. It's long. Just want to put that out there. All right. So back to it. Let me elaborate more on why life is temporary. Life is temporary because I'm sure if you ever been in a car before and you come across speed bumps, red lights, stop sign, a train track, with the true, true train, you know, driving across, you know, it's, it's only temporary. That also, excuse me, that same concept applies in life as well. Day by day, I realize this. And I realize that everything is not permanent. You know? When you suffer a setback, a major setback in life, doesn't matter what it is. It will be light at the end of the tunnel. But a wise man once told me that when you suffer that setback, you cannot put yourself in that same place. What I mean is, when you suffer a setback, you cannot sit there and cry and complain all the time. I realize that you have to do something about it. If you, and you have to go out there and conquer. You have to go out there and realize, all right, so yesterday I had a bad day. Last year wasn't my best year, okay. That's all right because there's always a tomorrow and I'm going to make up for it. It doesn't matter how I do it but I'm going to make up for it because it's temporary. And I will come back stronger. That's what I have to realize. I have to realize you can also be your worst enemy too. When you overthink about what's going to happen when life is acting like a bitch. You go over possible, you go over possible scenarios 
that hasn't even happened yet. Believe me, I've been through it. And I'm only learning from here. And I'm sure you have been through it too. However, it's inevitable that you will find light at the end of the tunnel. Life is temporary, not permanent. I'm Zion Smith, and this is the RTS Podcast. Always and forever.